Common Core teaches long division by using repeated subtraction. So to solve a problem, you're going to start by writing down the problem on a piece of paper and then drawing a simple box, which I have shaded in green in here so you can see the difference. You just need to draw a little rectangle over on this side. And the first thing you're going to think is, what is a multiple of my divisor, which in this case is 3, that is less than my dividend, which in this case is 63? And just try to think of some easy ones. The book wants you to estimate. That's the word they use, and I don't think that's a very good word because when you estimate, you might be thinking, I'm going to round this down to 60. So I'm just going to say, think of a multiple of this number that is less than that number. And in this case, we know that 30 is a multiple of 3, because it's a very easy one, and it's less than 63. So we're going to take that 30 and move it right up here. Then we have to think, well, what was it that we multiplied 3 times in order to get 30? Or 3 times what number is 30? And that's 10. 3 times 10 is 30. Now where are we going to put that 10? I'm going to write it over here in that box. It's going to be our answer box that we drew. So we thought 63 divided by 3. Well, I know 30 is going to go into it. And 3 times 10 is 30. Now what we have to do is subtract 30 from 63. And we get 33. And we're going to start all over again. Now we have to think, what is a multiple of 3 that is less than? I'm not going to use the words or equal to in this case, because you might be able to recognize that with this particular problem. What is a multiple of 3 that is less than or equal to 33? Now this is a jumbled mess for some people when you first start doing long division. It's like, what are we talking about here? I've got numbers. So whenever you've divided and then multiplied and then subtracted, and you've got an answer down here, I really put this problem as 33 divided by 3, just like it was before, all by itself. So even though it looks like this big jumbled mess, just think of it as 33 divided by 3. 33 divided by 3. See it? In that case, we might recognize that 33 is a multiple of 3, which is quite convenient for this problem. Because now we're just going to think, well, 3 times what number is 33? And that's 11. 3 times 11 is 33, which we're going to write over here in the answer box. And now all we have to do is subtract 33 from 33, which is 0. Which means all our division work is done here, when we either have 0 left over or a number that is less than our divisor. So in this case, 0, 1, or 2, and we know we would be done. If we had 3 or anything bigger, we knew that we would have to divide again. But because it's 0, it's going to mean there's no remainder. All we have to do now is add the numbers that we wrote over here in our box. And 10 plus 11 is 21. So the answer for 63 divided by 3 is 21. The quotient for 63 divided by 3 is 21. For an explanation of the same kind of problem with a three-digit number, watch part two of this series.